Hello folks, um, this question is from a different board. Uh, it is different from our Cambridge Assessment International Education uh, A-Level. But uh, I thought that uh, since, uh, uh, since this question is could be useful to people of A-Level as well, I am including it here. So it says that a student performs an experiment to determine the young modelers for steel, young modelers for steel. The student hangs various weights on a steel wire and measures the extension. So here the deforming force is provided by the weight. The graph shows the student's results. So the graph shows that the weight is directly proportional to the uh, extension, the deforming force. Um, sorry, the restoring force actually. Uh, so in any way, the wire has a cross sectional area A and original length L. Which calculation correctly determines the Young's modulus? So, all these things have got a certain thing called as the gradient of graph. So, we have to express Young's modulus in terms of the gradient of the graph. So, let's uh, first remember that uh, the formula for Young's modulus is equal to uh, stress by strain. Stress by strain. The stress is equal to the deforming force or restoring force by cross-sectional area A and the strain is extension by the original length length uh, it will be equal to FL by AE so here we have uh, weight or force in the y axis extension in the uh, x axis so I will arrange this equation as F is equal to F is equal to uh, F is equal to YA by L and then E so I have uh, uh, I have uh, sent this y a into e here and l downstairs. So here we have drawn a graph of uh, with e in the x axis and f in the y axis. So this thing should be equal to gradient m. So we have we have y a by l is equal to the gradient m, which gives us y should be equal to equal to m. Uh, into L by A. So this M is equal to gradient. M is equal to gradient into L by A. So when you look at the choices, uh, choice number A corresponds to this answer. So choice number A should be the correct answer.